Okay, welcome to the Mr. Charlie YouTube channel. I'm Mr. Charlie. Today, we are going to clean this crusty war nickel. You know how war nickels or Kennedy half dollars that, have, that war nickels got 30% silver in them and uh, Kennedy half dollars have got about 40% silver in them. And you know how they corrode differently than other coins when they're in the ground? Well, this one like here, it's got a lot of that different type of corrosion on it. It even hit as a penny signal instead of a nickel signal when I dug it. I'm going to use a poor man's electrolysis system to, to clean this coin. I've got a tub, a plastic tub full of water, and I put some salt inside the water and mix it around. The salt makes the water more conductive. I've taken two alligator leads. I've hooked the positive lead into a, a screw or a piece of iron, but I've got a stainless steel screw I'm gonna put in here. And then I'm gonna take the negative lead and I'm gonna to attach to the coin. Maybe, my fingers are slippery. And I'm gonna drop the coin in the water. And as you can see, the coin is already getting bubbles on it. Uh, it's not going quite as fast as the one we did the other day because we've got more water in here. It takes it a little bit more. We might move it a little closer to the, the other part. You can see that the uh, screw is already uh, acting, getting a reaction to it. I've got a nine volt battery and I've set the battery down on a, a cutting board. If you hear behind me, I know you can't see it, I've got a fan that's running to keep air circulating in here. And because we're going for more than just 15 minutes or 10 minutes, I've set the battery on a cutting board because the batteries will probably get a little bit hot. So we're gonna leave this in here for about an hour and come back in an hour and see what it looks like. Well, okay, it's been an hour and five minutes. I uh, wasn't paying attention to my clock. So we're gonna check it the first hour on it. I suspect it's gonna take a little bit more than an hour, as bad as this one is done. But I wanna point out something. I hooked my leads up backwards. That's why my screw was bubbling and not my coin just a second. I switched them around and, and fixed it up. I'm gonna take the coin out. You can see that it's got, it's all ooky looking now. You can see like stuff going out. I'm gonna rinse it off here in some clean water. It still looks pretty rough. If you can see the uh, a bunch of the uh, tarnished stuff has come, almost all that crust is coming off right now. It's come all the way off on one side, right here. The front side, we went from having the the crud on here that you can't even tell it's a nickel looking at it a minute ago. Uh-oh, don't want to drip that on that. That'd get me in trouble. To, uh, we can definitely see if I had eyes that could see, we could act see the date. The front side is pretty, oops, wrong, wrong deal. The front side is pretty much clean. This is a lot better than what I thought it was going to be after an hour. This stuff right here is just peeling right off. It cleaned all the, you know when you get the, the war nickels, how they got that special crud or they got their own little crud on it? Look at that, it's cleaned it all off. It's still a little bit tarnished here. I might throw it back in here for a little bit, I don't know. But that cleaned up really well. That cleaned up better than I thought it was going to. Look, all of that is just, just coming all off. Right there, look at that. Look at that, you could, if I had eyes, I'd be able to see the mint mark on there, but since I don't have eyes, I can't. Step 1940, oh Lord, I can't see it. Look at that. That right there would be considered a win. I appreciate all y'all watching my channel. Thank y'all very much.